self-absorption. The Lankavatara alludes occasionally to the ten vows of a Bodhisattva which he has made in the beginning of his career. They are principally concerned with the Bodhisattva and not with the Tathagata. But they may be taken at least in their principle as concerned with the life of the Tathagata as well. Amitabha, S. 48 vows mentioned in one of the Chinese versions of the Sukha Vati Vyuha Sutra. Akshovya, S. Vows in the Sutra of the Land of Akshovya. Shatagava, S. 10 Vows in the Sutra of the Vows of Shatagava. Bhaisharja Guru Vakluya Prabhasa Tathagata, S. 12 Vows in the Sutra bearing his name. Avalokitesvara, S. Vows in one of the chapters in the Sadharma Punarika, etc. Are also many developments of this idea of Prandhana. As regards such subjects as the Buddha, S power being added to his devotees or its moving them from within and enabling them to act in this way or that way. They have been treated although somewhat briefly in the previous part of this work, that is, pp. 202-205. 5. Other minor subjects. Among other subjects which are treated more or less briefly and in a detached way in the Lankavatara, the following have been selected as important. With these I hope the Sutra has been explained somewhat thoroughly as far as the main ideas making up the grand fabric of Mahayana Buddhism are concerned. I have purposely neglected making reference to the Samkhya and Lokayatika views refuted by the author of the Lankavatara. These are valuable when the historical position of the sutra is to be determined, which will be attempted later when a complete English translation of it is published. I have confined myself in this book to the study of such Mahayana thoughts as have engaged the attention of the writer of the sutra. He has by no means exhausted all the Mahayana doctrines, perhaps the sutra was compiled too early for that. One thing. However, I may mention at this juncture is that one of the ideas most distinctive as Mahayanistic has not received the slightest attention in the Lankavatara, not even bare mention of the term. By this I mean the doctrine of turning over individual merit towards attaining enlightenment, or towards helping others to do the same thing. That is known as Parinayamana, transferring of merit. Panyamana follows from the conception of Paranidhana. In fact, Paralidhana, Mahakamiya, Upayakausalya and Adishthana are almost intimately related ideas. When any one of them is awakened and set to work out its own consequences, the rest inevitably follow it. The Prajfya Paramita Sutra considered to be one of the earliest Mahayana literature constantly refer to Parilnamana. And also in the Avatamsaka and in the Sukhavetivyuha it is one of the characteristic terms. Seeing this, it is strange that the Lan Kavatara is altogether silent about it. The subjects to be mentioned below are one vehicle and triple VSC, the five fatal sins, the six parameters, four jhanas, and meat-eating. 1. Ekayana the Buddha is often compared to a great physician who can cure every sort of illness by skillful treatment. As far as the science of medicine goes, there is just one principle which, however, in the hands of an experienced doctor finds a variety of applications. The teaching of the Buddha does not vary in time and space, it has a universal application. But as its recipients differ in disposition and training and heredity, they variously understand it and are thereby cured each of his own spiritual illness. This one principle universally and infinitely ap one eye cable is known as one vehicle, or great vehicle. My teaching is not divided. It remains always one and the same. But because of the desires and faculties of beings that are infinitely varied, it is capable also of infinite variation. There is one vehicle only, and refreshing is the eightfold path of righteousness. Single quote single quote. 
Mahayaha and Ekayana are used synonymously in all the Mahayana texts. The idea of likening the Buddha's teaching into an instrument of conveyance was doubtless suggested by that of crossing the stream of samsara and reaching the other side of nirvana. The Mahayana stands contrasted to the Hinayana, and the Ekayana to the Devayana. The Devayana comprises Sravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, whereas the Ekayana is meant for Bodhisattvas. The readers of the Lankavatara are naturally Mahayanists who have a penetrating insight into the nature of all things. Know well the distinction between words and their meaning, and led others to share also properly in the bliss of no form. Those of the two yanas are indeed free from the thought of an ego substance known as satkaya drishti, have no doubt as to what they have realized within themselves, and do not wish for any external rewards accruing from their observance of morality. But they have not yet reached the realm of the inconceivable wisdom which belongs to the inner life of the Tathagata. And for this reason they have no desire to benefit others, or to sacrifice themselves for the sake of others. They rest in the enjoyment of their samadhi, for in him a great compassionate heart has not been stirred up as is the case of the Mahayana Bodhisattva. The latter is a follower of the Ekayana. Besides this Ekayana and Devayana, the Mahayana Sutras generally speak of Triyana, which consists of the Sravaka Yana, Pratyekabuddha Yana, and Bodhisattva Yana. But we must remember that the Ekayana has really nothing to do with the number of Yanas, though Eka means, one. Eka in this case rather means, oneness. And Ekayana is the designation of the doctrine teaching the transcendental oneness of things. By which all beings inclusive of the Hinayanists and Mahayanists are saved from the bondage of existence. So we have. My Mahayana is not a vehicle, or a voice, or letters. Nor is it what may be termed truth, or emancipation, or realm of no shadows. Yet when one is taken into the Mahayana one enjoys the sense of perfect freedom issuing from the samadhi. And one can transform oneself into any form one may wish and, adorned with flowers, become absolute master of all things. Single quote colon. This is the positive view of Mahayana or Ekayana. And from another point of view which has been designated transcendental, these assertions concerning the yana are surely conventional, they are for the benefit of the ignorant. I preach the triple vehicle, the one vehicle, and no vehicle, but they are all meant for the ignorant, the little-witted, and for the wise who are addicted to the enjoyment of quietude. The gate of the ultimate truth is beyond the dualism of cognition. When it is abiding in the realm of no shadows, how can there be the establishment of the triple vehicle? Single quote single quote. Further we have. The vehicle for the gods, the Brahma vehicle, the vehicle for Sravakas, one for Tathagatas, and one for Pratyeka Buddhas, these vehicles I preach. As long as mind evolves, these vehicles cannot be done away with. When it experiences a revulsion, there is neither vehicle nor driver. I speak of a variety of vehicles, but there is no real establishment of them. I speak of a variety of vehicles in order to induce the ignorant. There are three forms of emancipation. Realization that there is no self-substance in anything, knowledge of sameness, and the liberation from evil desires. Like a piece of wood drifting in the ocean, tossed about by, the waves, the sravaka, weak in wisdom, is tossed about by appearances. The sravakas are indeed disjoined from these outstanding evil passions, but still under bondage to the passions arising from memory. Drunk with the liquor of samadhi, they tarry in the world of non-outflowings. For them there is as yet no reaching the utmost limits of that world, nor is there any more sliding back. 
For him who is thoroughly absorbed in samadhi, there is no hope, even unto eternity for his awakening therefrom. Like a drunken man who is awakened only after the effect of the liquor has disappeared, the sravakas will realize, when they are awakened, my body known as the Buddha Dharma. Single quote single quote. Lastly, what is the path of the Ekayana? How does one realize it? The way to realize the path of the Ekayana is to understand that the process of perception is due to discrimination. When this discrimination no longer takes place, and when one abides in the suchness of things, there is the realization of the vehicle of oneness. This vehicle has never been realized by anybody, by the Sravakas, Pratyeka Buddhas, or the Brahmins, except indeed by myself. Therefore, it is called the vehicle of oneness. Single quote single quote. Why does the Buddha speak of the triple vehicle, and not of the vehicle of oneness? This is asked by Mahamati. Answers the Buddha. There is no truth of Paranirvana to be realized by the Sravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas all by themselves. Therefore, I do not preach them the vehicle of oneness. Their emancipation is made possible only by means of the Tathagata's guidance, discretion, discipline, and direction. It does not take place by them alone. They have not yet made themselves free from the hindrance of knowledge and the working of memory. They have not yet realized the truth that there is no self-substance in anything, nor have they attained the inconceivable transformation death. For these reasons I do not preach the vehicle of oneness. I preach the triple vehicle to the sravakas. When their evil habit of memory is all purgated, when they have an insight into the nature of all things that have no self-substance, and when they are awakened from the intoxicating result of samadhi, which comes from the evil habit of memory, they rise from the state of non-outfeoings. When they are thus awakened, they will supply themselves with all the moral provisions on a plane which surpasses the state of non-outfeoings where they have hitherto remained. Single quote single quote. 2. The Five Deadly Sins. The following five deeds are regarded by Buddhism as the worst offenses to be committed by its followers. Murder of the mother, of the father, of the arhat. Disturbing the peace of the brotherhood. And making the Buddha bleed with an evil motive. They are called the five immediate or uninterrupted sins, because the offender is to be subjected to an uninterrupted series of tortures in hell. The Lankavatara gives this its opposite interpretation as follows. Who is the mother of all beings? Thirst or desire which is regenerative and, accompanied by pleasure and greediness, is the nursing mother. The fatherly quality of ignorance causes one to be born in the community of the six houses. When the root of these two is cut off it is called the slaying of father and mother. To extirpate completely the passions that pursue a man like a deadly enemy and excite him furiously like a poisoned rat this is the slaying of the Arhat. What is the Brea 1 dng up of the Brotherhood? To destroy completely the root of mutuality and solidarity that holds together the five skandhas this is the breaking up of the Brotherhood. O Mahamati! To destroy completely the system of eight Vijnanas which perceives an external world as constructed on the principles of individuality and universality altogether independent of mind. And to do this by means of a discrimination which is injurious to the working of the Vijnana system but which is productive of a triple emancipation devoid of the outflowings, this is called an immediate because it causes the bleeding of the Buddha body of the Vijnanas with an evil motive. O Mahamati, these are the inner five, immediates. For those who commit these deeds, be they sons or daughters of a good family, there is an immediate realization of the truth. Again, O Mahamati, I will tell you about the external, immediates, 
so that you and other bodhisattvas may not in the future harbor any doubt about them. By the external, immediates, I mean those mentioned in the sutras. Those who commit those deeds will never have any sort of realization of the triple emancipation, except those who attain to the realization by the superadded power of the transformation Buddha. When the sravaka supported by the power of a bodhisattva or by that of a tathagata sees others committing deeds of the immediate nature and wishing to make them abandon their evil deeds so that they will be free from the yoke of their errors, is moved to wake him up. He is supported by the supernatural power of the transformation Buddha one and will attain realization. But there is no such realization for those who are simply addicted to the immediate deeds. But he will have realization who, understanding the doctrine that all things are no more than the manifestations of mind, abandons the view that there really is a world of particulars where the body, property, and the abode, are distinguished, cuts himself off from the idea of an ego substance and what belongs to it, befriends good companions whenever and wherever they are met who will induce him to another world, and is able to release himself from the faults of self-discrimination. It is thus said, Thirst is indeed the mother, and ignorance is the father, when from the understanding of an objective world there rises Buddha knowledge. The passions are the arhat, and the five skanda aggregates are the brotherhood. As these and no other, immediates, are to be destroyed, here is indeed a set of deeds called, immediate. Single quote, single quote.